Greetings. Welcome to my devotions. Grace and peace be with you. My topic for today is fostering true friendship. And my scripture reading will be coming from 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 1 to 3. And I'll read. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day and would let him go no more home to his father's house. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. Here in the portion of God's holy word, I honor him by saying glory be to God. All people long to be in genuine relationships. God created us with this need as we were not meant to live in isolation. Our world is so driven by technology that many people today try to ease their loneliness through computer relationships. However, this can never satisfy or compare to the human fellowship that the Creator designed. But healthy friendship don't just happen, they require intentional effort. We can, can look to Jonathan and David for a biblical model of godly companions. We see how mutual respect is vital in a healthy friendship. Let's look at two aspects of their relationship. These two men had an emotional love for one another. Their hearts were knit together. When one experienced joy or sadness, the other felt it too. They also had genuine devotion to each other, which is a type of commitment that involved giving to show loyalty. Jonathan gave his friend material items, his robe, and weapon. But these two men also selflessly offer more. Jonathan even risked his life and future kingship in order to save David from execution. Notice too that Jonathan was often the initiator and the one who gave more. He was a prince, whereas David was a lowly shepherd. Social status shouldn't interfere with cultivating a true friendship. We were designed for true companionship based on mutual respect, genuine love, and commitment. This requires not only time and selfless devotion, but also transparency, which means being real, even about our faults. Taking such a risk requires trust. Such relationships are well worth the effort. Having a good relationship or a good friendship required genuine love. In John 15, chapter, in John chapter 15, verses 11 to 15 tells us, Jesus said, These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another 
as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Let us pray. Father, thank you for all the wonderful promises that you have given unto us in your word. Thank you for genuine friends. Thank you for genuine relationships. Thank you for bringing the right people into our lives who would motivate us to become closer to you. Strengthen my present friendships so that they will be based on you and your word. Let them see you in me. Thank you for their presence in my life. I, thank, I ask that you would watch over them. Help me to be a good friend to them. Make a way for them when there seems to be no way. Be their guide always. Show them the way to go. May they know your love for them. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you for listening. I hope you have been blessed. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to share this word with someone you think would like to hear. God bless you. Have a wonderful and productive day. Peace.